y'all, Harold here, and we are back today to talk about link aggregation on uh, network switches. So, um, the one of the switches I'm using is a Linksys SRW2048, and this guy is an older uh, business grade switch, like a medium business, small medium business grade switch. Uh, you might find this in a coffee shop or something silly like that. Um, and it's very obvious um, since I have to, the, the, I think the last firmware update for it came out a couple years ago and the uh, interface is required to be run in Internet Explorer in compatibility mode, otherwise it doesn't work at all. And you might say, well, just use the command line to do um, configuration. Well. I'll show you what happens when we telnet into the switch. This is the interface. Well, oh, 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 it doesn't know what it's doing. And this is all we get. There is not much you can do in this switch. Oh, it does have SSH. I didn't even think it had SSH. Uh, but you can't disable, I don't believe you can, I don't believe you can actually disable Telnet, so, no, you can't. I, I even have the timeout set to zero seconds, so it should not even let me in, if it's, because it should time out immediately. Ay ay ay. So, yes, this is not a switch you'd want, actually, on a real network. Good thing it's in my lab, where it can't do anybody any harm. <laughs> Telnet. If any you're not aware, is a very insecure protocol. Um, essentially, if I was running a packet sniffer right now, um, I could just read in plain text everything that's coming across the screen. And uh, that's scary. Um, so, if you have a network device, do not enable Telnet. And if it is enabled, disable it or get rid of it. Except if you're running it in a lab where it's isolated and it doesn't fucking matter. So that's that. Um, so here's the interface and we are at the link aggregation page and we're going to say detail. And this is where we are going to configure our link aggregation. So the ports that we're going to be aggregating are 15, 16, 17, 18, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And it's going to be lag number one. Description is switch. Administrative status will be up. Um, operational status should be active. And admin auto negotiation. Yep, we'll let it auto negotiate. And admin flow control. Yeah, we'll let it auto negotiate. Uh, PVE. And none. And save and close. Uh, okay, it did close. <laughs> As you can see, this, this is how bad this interface is. Um, so it's reading at a thousand megs, so it's getting gigabit there. And now it's time to configure our other switch. Um, this is our Dell 5324 and uh, PowerConnect 5324. I don't know what the 5324s are, but, I, but it might be based on uh, brocade uh, hardware. Um, one of their series, I think it was something out of the 6000 series, was all brocade switches that sucked and always died. This 5324 has its own series of problems too, but it's a lab switch, so it doesn't matter. Um, so on this one, we're configuring legs on 17, oh, I'm sorry, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then we say yes, and the other option is no. So this is the LACP membership on this top row and we're doing LACP. Um, so, yep, and we're on lag one. We'll say apply changes. And that's all there is to it. Uh, we could come over here and uh, on both of these and actually change uh, LACP parameters. Um, so if we go down to 17, uh, that was the first in our lag. Um, system priority, port priority. Yeah, I, I'm fine with all of that. Um, 
I want everything all up all the time. So everything is going to be a priority one for me. And the time out of long is fine too. So that was all it took to configure a lag. Um, now what we could try and do is actually do some testing of this lag um, and see if we could break it. Um, well, not break it, but uh, see what see what kind of bandwidth throughput we can get. Um, so actually, we need to get out of this box. And we don't need Final Cut Pro open. Don't need that open. Whoa, we're going to edit that out. <laughs> you don't need to see my personal Facebook. Okay. So we're going to fire up our... Windows 2012 box here. And... Okay, so we're back at our 2012 box, and we are going to open up, uh, not Task, yes, Task Mangler. Okay, so we got Task Mangler open. We're going to hit the Performance tab, and we're going to watch the Ethernet tab. And actually, let's go to Resource Monitor instead, and screw you, Task Mangler, mangling all my tasks. And we'll say network. So this gives us our full throughput um, right here. And it tells us how our I.O. is actually looking like. And so there's our A-team, the teaming uh, connection we created before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to a couple other machines here and start some very large file transfers. And what we should see is these very large file transfers. Um, transferring quickly, more quickly than uh, one gig a second. So if we say continue, da, 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 da. let's fire up file transfer from this box. Oh, that's never going to make it. That's the wrong IP address. Uh, and oop, you come back here. And let's just go ahead and copy this really large uh, directory. And that's going. So we should see an instant spike here. You know, a pretty instant spike. And then we'll go over to, yep, there we go. Now we're seeing seeing some good stuff. We'll come over to this other machine. Start another file transfer, much the same. The downside side is we might be limited by disk I/O. As we see here, we're well. We should be getting better than that. Uh, our reads from our RAID five should be pretty darn good. There's this machine. We want to control it, not just view it. And start that transfer. Hey, getting closer. Well, we're over a gig there. Start another transfer. Oh, 
I should have had these transfers lined out. I didn't even think about demonstrating that it's functioning. Um, so, a button on my underwear. And so we're sustaining one gig, and this should put us over the top. So, as we can see, it is doable. Um, we have at, we watched it go over one gig. We were hitting 1.3. Uh, let's see what network or task mangler says. So we're, we're hitting across the two. All right. So we're actually right here. If we look at this, that's our virtual adapter and our uh, Ethernet adapter. We're, holy cow, we're peeking this out a lot more than I thought we were. We're hitting 1.2. Nine hundred, so it's distributing the load just as it should. It's spreading that load pretty good. We're hitting one point five, just about. Yeah, we're getting great speeds. Woohoo! And it looks like at least. Well, no, it's just it's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right. Um, oh, it looks like one of our transfers is done. <laughs> getting down to thirty nine uh, makes a second. Um, yeah, well, close to done. Anyhow, um, that's the demonstration of the lag working. Um, since the physical devices are plugged in on other uh, other sides of the two switches, so woohoo! Anyway, that's all we got for today. And if you like this video, go ahead and say like. If you're interested in more videos like this uh, with networking in mind, um, or you're interested in Windows Server. Uh, Linux servers, uh, Mac OS X, um, pretty much all things IT. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe and uh, you'll get uh, kept up to date on everything that's going on around here. And until then, we will see you next time.